Hello guys, this is Edip Kalkani and welcome back to another video tutorial of simplified programming. So, I hope that you have completed your homework which I had given to you in our last video tutorial. So, in this tutorial what we are going to do, we are going to learn about fragment. If you don't know what is fragment, then don't worry. I will tell you everything about fragment. Fragment is one of the most important part of Android application development. Fragment is like a activity on your activity. Let's understand this by simple example. If you want to create an application which have uh, 50 or more activities, then you have to create 50 activities or more activities for developing your Android application. Suppose that all your activities have the same text view. Suppose you want to change the color of your text view, then you have to change the color of text view in your all 50 activities. If you use the fragment, then uh, you can simply change the color by uh, changing the color of text view in one XML file only. So this is the magic of the fragment and uh, let's make an Android application having one fragment and in this tutorial I will show you how to make the fragment and how to set it in your activity. Let's create a new Android Studio project. Click start a new Android Studio project. Here write down your project name fragment demo. You can give SUVs. Then here you can write your company domain and click next. Here you can select the minimum Android version and click next. Then here select the empty activity and click next. Then click finish. This will start building your project. Ok. So now our project is ready. Uh, we are using Android Studio version 2.3.3. So it creates activity by default using the Java file. So we have to convert the Java file into the Kotlin file every time. So for that press the shift key twice and search for Java to Kotlin and hit enter. This will convert your main activity dot java file into the main activity dot kt file. Here is our activity main dot xml file. Let's see the preview. Here hello world is given by default. I recommend you to change this layout to the relative layout or linear layout. We will remove this text view and uh, put the fragment here. So first of all create the fragment. Click here, right click, then new, then fragment, then fragment blank. Here write down your fragment name. Make sure you uncheck this checkbox and hit finish button. This will create a fragment for you. A fragment is created with the Java file. So we need to convert this Java file into the Kotlin file. For that press the shift key twice and search for Java to Kotlin and hit enter. It will convert your fragment code into the Kotlin code. Here is our fragment first.xml file and it contains text view by default. Now we have to set our fragment into the activity main.xml file. So head over to activity main.xml file and write down here fragment. Then Keep its width and height match parent and give it name first fragment. So it will set your first fragment into this fragment. 
it will simply source your fragment here into the main activity. Now give id to the fragment my fragment. Our project is ready for run. I already have opened my Android virtual device. So I hit this button and select my AVD. And click OK. This will turn our Android application or Android project into this AVD. Oops, our application is for stop because I forgot to configure the Kotlin in this project. So go to tools and select the Kotlin. Here select configure Kotlin in project and hit OK button. This will change your Gradle file. So you need to synchronize your project. Click sync now and it will start synchronizing your project. It will take some time. After synchronizing the project, Run your project. Boom! Our application is running. This shows hello blank fragment message. This is the part of the fragment which we have created. This is the text view which is present on our fragment. So. In this tutorial, I only show you how to create the fragment and in the next tutorial, we are going to make a project which has two fragments and we are going to send and receive data between the fragments. So uh, stay tuned with us guys for more tutorials.